Stratters. I'm Baba playing Eldrazi and Taxes in Modern. Now we're playing against Kalim. This is my second round. I'm just doing tournament practice, but I'm going to do four rounds in the tournament practice room. So if you have not seen them, check out my deck tech and round one. We played against Naya Zoo. Um, and here we are in round two. Going for it. Hopefully our opponent is here and ready to go. All right, good. So what do we have? We have no colorless mana. We have no colored mana. We can grab a relic. We're on the draw. I think I have to mulligan this. Okay. We'll keep this. Aether Vial with Flicker Wisp is pretty good. Uh, we don't want a third Flicker Wisp. So we'll put this on the bottom. We don't need this stop at the moment. That stop is for <clears throat> Eldrazi Displacer Shenanigans, which are not required at the moment. So we do a, hmm, we definitely want the Aether Vial, right? So what tells him the least? I mean, Ghost Quarter, Aether Vial, that's death and taxes, right? Eldrazi Temple, Aether Vial, could be Eldrazi. We could have gone Godless Shrine, Aether Vial, that's death and taxes. Who knows what he thinks now? We'll grab that. That's fine. Old school Bloodstained Mire into old school Overgrown Tomb. These are the spendy ones, man. Alright, he's doing all these fetching. It's, uh, Jund. So Liliana, oh, that's another Dark Confident, and Goif, nope, destroying the Aether Vial, hmm. okay, yeah, Jeez. all right, this is looking pretty rough. We're going to get the Shambling Mint. I tried to get rid of his card advantage, but he's got another goddamn confidant. There's an Inquisition. He can take anything from my hand, so of course he'll do that. It's pretty good. It's old school Bob, too. There's a Flicker Wisp. And Liliana takes another. Nope. Scavenging is going to start exiling things. Getting big. He's got him for perfect information, so he knows he can attack with his 2-1. Arbiter's pretty good with Godless Shrine. <sighs> yeah. With Ghost Quarter. I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. Alright. This feels really rough at the moment. Make 
that a 3 3. We're going to get rid of a land. This is going to get more land anyway. Uh, Enter's tapped, black, red. That's his first red mana, right? He could have gotten some earlier, though. It's probably not too important. Goif says hello. Hello, Goif. Um, Relic would like to meet you. No creatures, so it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Thought Knot's here. Hello, Thought Knot's here. So we just do... We've got four here. We'll just play this tapped. Take something out of your hand. Have a 4-4. Four, four. That's rude. God, all these good cards. It's just rough. All right. No Maelstrom Pulse for you. Flipper with Thought Nuts here just doesn't work very well. Ooh. He drew his big one. Huntmaster. He's just got the land for that. Yeah, Huntmaster is great. I bet he, I wonder, he must have Liliana. He's got everything. He's got the old school Goyfs, the old school Dark Confidant. He is a, a committed Jund player. So we must have Liliana. Uh, do we double block the Goyf? We lose the Thought Knots here. We keep the Arbiter. He has to draw a card. I think we're going to take four here, keep our Thought Knots here around for a little bit. Arbiter's on borrowed time. You know he has a bolt in his hand. But he'll probably just bolt us. That's what I would do. Yeah. <clears throat> Wasteland Strangler's pretty good. Do we take out the Huntmaster or the Scavenging Ooze? Only I could flick a wisp it. One mana off. It's a shame. Aether Vial also would have been great. Asshole. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, attacking and having this as a combat trick, super good. Got everything is a high value target. Huntmaster is not horrible at the moment. It will be, because he's not going to cast any spells on his turn, right? So... God damn. We need to kill the scavenging ooze before it gets too big. I think it's just got to be the ooze. I mean, going for five six now. It's rough. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, Inquisition takes our other flicker wisp. I don't see any reason he won't do that. 
God, I bolted the bob. It's gonna bolt him. All right, so he's not gonna bolt in response to any combat tricks. He just wanted to search for a land. It's fine, he goes to 10. Oh, so he can bolt this guy too. Shit, double bolt. I should just put Jun together. Does the Inquisition? I think he just takes the Flicker Wisp, or he just does something horrible. Get some things. Gain some life. He, know, he knows he has the Inquisition. Um, so we can block two of these guys. One, two, three. Oh, let's transform you. Maybe he'll show us another card. You never know. No, he's just gonna kill us. He's just gonna hit him. Oh, yeah. hit both of us. All right, I made sure that he didn't relic. Relic would have been nice. Uh, one, where were you, relic? I had no way to draw you earlier, did I? Damn. All right. <clears throat> that was rough. Huntmaster, wolves, those are two twos, goifs, we can make them small, bobs, okay. Uh, Dismember comes in, and Flaying Tendrils comes in, and Shriek Maw comes in. A non-black creature. Goifs oozes, that works well. Protection from black. You. Red, rest in peace. So abrupt decays kind of fucked that a little bit. Uh, probably more with the aether vial, so I think we'll take those out. Relics are pretty good here. Uh, Spell skite's another thing that gets abrupt decayed, right? I think Thalia is pretty good. Flicker Wisps. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take two of them out. Okay. Stranglers, Displacers, Arbiters. All right. Let's see. We would like to play first. Um, it's a cave and a relic and a Strangler. That's pretty good. We'll keep this. I think it's got to be a turn to Arbiter. Yeah, I'm not going to catch him off guard there. It does, does give us something to relic away though, so that's good. Uh, Flaying Tendrils early is nice. we we'll probably get Inquisitioned. That's just a dark confidant. That's fine. We're going to kill him.
Liliana now. Fulminator Mage. Ah, screw that guy. That is really rough, actually. taking out my temple. Yeah. You. We have five damage on board and a dismember in hand still, but he messed up our land significantly. Let's hit him for five. So keep Dismember up, uh, we can Relic, end of turn. We remember the hell out of that guy. Thought not seer, it's having a rough day. Got him down to seven. Yeah, no raging ravine this turn. Next turn he can do that. That guy's not getting any bigger. Oh, thought not seer hurts. There's your zero one one goif. Alright. Thank God. Alright. Hmm. Make him a 3-3. Three, three. Do we just attack with the Arbiter? Do we attack with both? How does he block? He takes five. He's got to block with the ooze, right? He can't really afford to take five, I think. Let me get another one. Okay. <clears throat> no blocks. Can't take the weird foothills. I wish you had something worthwhile. <laughs> All right, you do have the ravine to block, which is a three-three. Huh. Jeez. <clears throat> We've got twenty-two land. We're in a little bit of trouble there. Do we bring the ether vials back in on the draw? Probably not. I think this is okay. I don't know how many fulminator mages he brings in. Okay, well one and one against Jund. Feels okay. I'm just going to keep this. If he's going on the Fulminator Mage plan, I'd much rather have five lands than two. So you can take Thalia, and that's what you get. I should have played Temple, because we could do it. Temple, Temple, if we top deck another one. Dark Confidant. At this point, it doesn't matter too much. All right, 
So I think it's a land. <clears throat> I'll take two. Yep, yeah, Thought Knot's here. It's going to get killed real quick, I think. Fulminator Mage. Nope, oh, scavenging ooze. Huh. Alright. Yeah, what do we got? <laughs> Alright. Bolts. Nice thing about Thought Nuts here, he doesn't get that card back. So you can get rid of a card and he draws a random card. Uh, Terminate is there to kill Thought Nuts here. It's fine. He gets terminated. And then you draw a card. This is so rough. I think we're dead in the water here. And keeping all this land might not have been the best move. He may have even taken the Fulminator Mages out. Who knows? Yeah, we'll just pass. Um, four, six, well, I don't know. Ghost quartering his land is probably not super strong. Dark Confidants. Just kill ya. I think I have everything for this deck. I don't except the Lilianas. Yeah, just bolt, bolt, bolt. You got one more bolt at least. Mm. Huntmaster does four again. Brutal. Got one more bolt, which puts us at two, and then we die. So I think we lost this one to Jund, but at least we won a game in the match. Uh, it's just, it could be hard to beat Jund, right? And there's the battlefield tapped. All right. Good games. We're uh, dead on board. We've got nothing but land. I kept all land hand because I didn't like being beat out like I was. There's, there's action right there. There's gas. So the fact that we drew land after keeping a lot of land, that's what happens, right? That's just the way it works. Um, so I should have also th remembered that even though he Fulminator maged me and I was freaked out about that, that's the game that I won. So maybe I should not have worried about that quite as much. All right, well, this is round two with Eldrazi and Taxes. I'm going to play two more rounds. Check those out. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the list. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Um, and if you like this kind of material, uh, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash magic gathering strat. It's the single best way to support the channel, and we really appreciate it. All right, I'm Bava. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Bava. Don't forget to check out our great articles and events at magicgatheringstrat.com. Feel free to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and check us out at twitch.tv slash magicgatheringstrat. Thank you to Card Hoarder for their support, and super thanks to our patrons. Check out our great patron rewards, and consider uh, supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat. Catch you later.